few years ago, I undertook a project about campus sexual assault, and it was actually a few years before the Me Too movement. What I saw in 2014, 15, and 16 really not only laid the groundwork for what happened with the Me Too movement, but also really shows all of the challenges within the movement, the strengths of it, the heroics of it, and some of the drawbacks. I tried to take this kind of journalistic approach with a book that I wrote called Blurred Lines and rethink uh, sex power and consent on campus and try to look at it from the perspective of a Gen X mom of two, which is what I am, and think to myself, how have things changed since I was in college and how have they really not? Has it gotten better? Has it gotten worse? How are schools dealing with it? How are students dealing with it? How are parents, administrators? The fact is, is that things are wildly different and they're totally the same. What is very similar are the sexual assault statistics. One in five American women will be um, the victim of sexual assault or attempted sexual assault while they're in college. That hasn't really changed over the years, which is kind of stunning. You would think you know, in the 70s or the 90s, maybe not before then, when there was like, you know, not co-ed schools, that you would have seen much higher rates. And with, you know, all the revolutions that have gone on for women, you would see something different, but actually the numbers are pretty similar.